All right. 20, 30, 70, 80, 100, 140, 170, 190, 200, 230, 240, 270, 280, 300, 355. Sneak peek of Gold Rush Season 14, Episode 22. The Money Pit Fights Back. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Lemon. Welcome back to my channel, like this video, and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. There are only a few episodes left in Gold Rush Season 14, so the stakes are higher than ever. The episode 22 titled, The Money Pit Fights Back, promises to be an exciting roller coaster trip filled with obstacles and victories. Gold miners are working hard to finish strong. The Friday, February 23, 2024, broadcast to, to get a taste of the dramatic moments fans may expect. Let's dive into the sneak look. Watery mayhem awaits Parker Schnabel. There's been a sense of tension among watchers, as they wonder if Parker Schnabel's crew's goal of accelerating work before winter sets in will be jeopardized after they unintentionally unleash a flood of water this week, which has caused havoc on their operations. Though don't stress too much, there may not be as much drama as it seems, but insider information suggests that the incident is not as bad as it seems. Even yet, Rickness's audacious decision to relocate to Rally Valley taking center stage this week in the hopes of scoring a big score. Rick NES made the bold decision to go from the bench to Rally Valley. There is a lot of excitement as Rick begins his first full week at Rally Valley. Everyone is wondering if his ultimate plan will work out and how it will affect the course of the entire season. This is a crucial time for Rick and may make or break his season. After saying goodbye to the Macon in the previous episode, Tony makes a last-ditch effort. But Tony never backs down. Equipped with a new wash plant and the revive dredge number one, Tony's insatiable hunger for gold leads him to revive an old wash plant. The burning question is whether these last-ditch efforts will save Tony's season. All the signs point to a successful outcome as Tony's plans are coming together in the final stages. Fans are buzzing about Parker's watery mishap. Would it be a minor setback or a game-changer for his crew? The audience is gripped by Rickness's calculated approach, wondering if it will be the pivotal moment he needs for a thrilling season final. While it is admirable that Tony Beats persevered, will his impromptu choices result in a spectacular ending or leave him empty-handed? You're going to have a crazy ride if you missed Gold Rush Season 14's thrilling episode last week. The principal actor supporters are on the edge of their seats as the money pit battles back after Tony defeats Rick NES and the Macon team brings its aim. Fans of the Gold Rush can anticipate action-packed excitement and dramatic scenes when miners must decide whether to strike gold or leave with nothing. Dividends Tommy Beats faces dredging issues at the beginning of the episode. When the bucket line comes loose from the ladder, things take an unexpected turn. When cleanup time comes, the following discoveries are revealed. Tony, the king of colorful vocabulary, tries to mend it, but a reliable excavator steals the show. The subplot of the power of swearing's machinery is entertaining in Paradise Hill. 1661 Oz, Sir at SL, a lot 1602 Oz, and the dredge 46.7 Oz. While Rick NES and his team are working on a solution, the claim owner becomes demanding, and there is a missing adapter for the washed plant discharge line, which causes disruptions in the operations. It is revealed that the bench cuts are 18.76% after demands for a hefty $400,000 are met with disappointment during discussions. The crew is under increasing pressure. Next up on the Macon crew's last stand, Rick will overcome these difficulties. With the prospect of nuclear alternatives, the Macon crew is in a precarious situation. Brian makes an unexpected visit with a drum cutter and if they don't find gold soon, 
Their plan to go back to the deep cut runs into difficulties due to 50 feet of overburden and permafrost. The season is on the verge of collapse when the Sparks family's $150,000 project comes crumbling down and the cleanup causes 122.194 in cash cuts. The initial success of Rainwash is overburdened into their pay, causing the drum cutter to malfunction. Thanks for watching my video.